Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Well, I have to admit, this is my first uh, video interview, anyways, over Skype. Really? Yeah. Well, uh, hopefully I, I look okay for you. Yeah, yeah. So then what do you do for Atran? Uh, I'm the director of uh, product marketing. Okay. And so uh, basically all the mar product features of the marketing, basically working on the messages, work on collateral, uh, put together programs for our sales channel, those kinds of things. So do you communicate directly to customers? Like if they say, hey, we really need a product to do this. Mm-hmm. We have actually, that's our product um, uh, management group that will work with our customers. They also work with our, um, our channel. And if they're seeing a trend in the market, those kinds of things. Uh, I'm more on the promotional side of our products. Uh, they're, and what their role in is, is to work with engineering. They'll take all those requirements, get them into engineering, get them queued up, get them uh, uh, in the process. Now, do you watch things like, uh, like a Facebook uh, community page, Twitter feed, YouTube, etc.? Yep, mm-hmm, yep. We have uh, the lady that contacted you originally, uh, Jennifer Mullins. Yeah. She's the one that's uh, monitoring all those for us and keeps that up to, up to date and keeps our uh, tweets out there and does all the news for us. That's good. So now you just recently uh, produced a white paper comparing right. uh, what you got in a product offering to others. That's correct. So what was right. the crux of that? Um, that is actually a white paper. Um, the gentleman, was his name is Frank Ohorst. He was the senior technical editor for CRN for many years, and that was his uh, role in life is to set up test, test methodologies. And what we did is we tested our routers uh, to that of Cisco. And um, he ran those through a series of tests, um, and we were looking for really uh, performance is what we were trying to evaluate, oh, right? Yeah. The raw performance. Um, in short, he ran three tests. One was internet security, and that's where we turned on uh, firewall, and we turned on network address translation. NAT. And, and NAT, correct. And basically, we ran those tests. Uh, in that particular test, we outperformed the Cisco products, which in, the, in this particular case, it was our NetVanner routers against their new uh, routers, their ISR G2 routers, or Gen 2. Um, in that particular case, it was a 285% uh, increase of our routers over theirs. Really? Yeah. Why such a dramatic difference between the two? You'd imagine that you know one router, especially compared in the same price range, uh, geared to the same audience, would perform similarly. Uh, that's correct, but you know, not every router is created equal, as they say. Um, they come in different sizes, shapes, features, functions, obviously, uh, price ranges as well. Um, these tests that, they, that we ran, um, for the most part, there's three areas where we really excel at. One is our operating system. So our, it's called the Adtran operating system, very much like their iOS. Uh, in short, um, it's very focused and it's targeted to run on that particular platform. And it's homegrown. It's developed right here uh, with our engineers. Um, so therefore, it's very targeted at the market that we suit. And that is the small and medium enterprises. So we have a feature set in those routers that is very targeted at the market that we're addressing. Um, from there, um, unlike the Cisco product, you know, they have this code base as kind of a conglomerate because they grow through acquisitions. So their code base is actually from other vendors that they have purchased. And so their code base tends to... Um, is it a little it fragmented? Kind of, yeah, it gets yeah. kind of fragmented. It can also be a little bloated in, in, in areas, and you have redundant code and so forth. So ours is very streamlined for the, the platforms that we're running. Is it based in Linux or some kind of uh, derivation? Uh, ours is not, no. Okay. Yeah. Um, some other areas, uh, we do have some patent uh, rapid route technology, which allows us to uh, move data through the box you know, very, very quickly. Uh, another area of interest is that, we're, like I said, we're very focused at that particular market, the small to medium enterprises. So we focus on internet connectivity and um, um, branch office connectivity. So we're making sure that out of these applications, we're offering a very robust feature set for that market segment and therefore um, addressing all their needs. And for the most part, you're not buying all these features that you'll never ever use, right? right. So you're getting a, a set of feature set that's very relevant in today's market, but yet allows them for future growth. Well, what will usually happen, like especially if, if someone walks into an organization, uh, they may have some IT experience, they may not, 
uh, especially if they don't, where do they start? Like, in terms of, we need a router, we need to connect all these computers, you know, where would you suggest they begin in gathering intelligence and specifically what to look for, you know, when they see, you know, two bullet-pointed lists of features, they seem, you know, in parity, uh, what would you suggest? Yeah, well, I mean, that's a, that's a good point. Um, we, it's really down to our channel. We sell in a couple different ways. You know, a true small business, he's not going to have the technical expertise to tackle something like this. So that's when they'll pick up the phone and find a local bar in their area. So we have thousands of bars throughout the country that resell our products. That's a we also, value-added reseller? Yes, okay. value-added reseller. Just making sure you said VAR, not BAR. <laughs> bar, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. And, and then um, we also sell through uh, service providers. So, you know, a lot of times when somebody buys a particular service from a service provider, whoever's in their local area, uh, they're going to hook them up with a circuit, and then they'll put a box at the end of that circuit. You know, for most for uh, most situations, that's our platforms that are sitting there offering the service. Um, the VAR can add his added value from a VAR perspective is just that. They can go in, they can survey what all their needs that they need, need to tackle from a LAN perspective, from a WAN perspective, connecting a branch office or just Internet access, and they can get them um, squared away and, and set up in the right direction. So then how did AdTran start as a company? I mean, you guys uh, stumble upon, hey, you know, people need routers, they, they need to be connected on their networks or... Yeah, well, that's funny. We started about uh, 25 years ago, and it's it's one of those uh, Cinderella stories. Um, it started building um, DSU CSUs out of the garage. Is how basically how we started, um, making sure that the, the line was protected, um, and when the, uh, the, the the Ma bells were splitting up, and so from there the company kind of grew out of that. And we actually have two divisions in our organizations. Our one side is called our carrier networks division. And they actually manufacture, uh, design and manufacture products that are actually in the carrier's networks. Um, and then I represent the enterprise side of our house. And so we represent, um, we have uh, unified communication products, um, IP business gateways. We have um, um, access routers that we're talking about today. We've got a full line of switches and wireless LAN solutions. So we have almost everything that a small to medium-sized enterprise would me- need for uh, networking and communication kind of connectivity. It's one hell of a career path. I mean, to go into you know the world of networking and admining and you know setting these things up. Yeah. Uh, you know, I've got I would say ninety nine percent of my audience are geeks, and some of them are very young geeks, and they're looking to you know develop a career and they don't really know where to begin. So when you guys go to hire specifically, you know, in terms of product design and what really needs to go into your your hardware. You know, what kind of qualities in uh, an individual do you look for in that process? Well, obviously, uh, the, this this whole campus that I'm sitting on right now, I'm surrounded by double E's. Everywhere I look, I got double E's. And for the most part, we have a handful of mechanical engineers, but uh, it, all the way up to our senior management has all grown from an engineering background. So they're all double E as far as uh, an engineering degree standpoint. So I highly recommend uh, finding the double E's. Uh, we definitely target key schools that we've been successful with. We've got a great co-op program that we bring people in, um, young students. Um, we've got people here that have grown from their college days all the way up to senior management. So it's been uh, quite successful from that standpoint. Well, I know I get uh, questions all the time asking for recommendations, and, and certainly uh, there are those out there who they get thrown into a position they don't know what to do. They don't know where to start. They know they need the hardware for it, and, and so it's always good to, to know that there are a lot of options available, specifically those that deliver performance. Yeah. Now, uh, on another note, uh, we actually offer a pre-sale service. It's a free service. We have a whole group that's dedicated to end users calling in, to our resellers calling in, and if they have a question on how to get you know everything from general connectivity to very high-end, sophisticated VoIP applications or uh, unified communications, they can call this group, and they will help them uh, configure a network, set up a network, and so forth. Okay. Anything else you'd like to say to my audience of uh, rather, uh, I would say, well, I'd call them eggheads, but they'd probably be offended. (laughs) No, I just want to say thanks for having us on. I appreciate it. Um, I hope we can do more of these. Sure. No, and uh, the white paper is available on your website? The white paper is available. It's at adtran.com slash truth. Okay. Fair enough. All right. Thanks again. All right. Well, thank you for your time. Have a good one. All right. Thanks.